ladies and gentlemen, welcome to more family-friendly gaming. This is Soap the Great, and I am back on the Hypermind SMP server. And what are we going to be doing today? Well, I am recording this before you have seen this house build, but you're going to see this after the house build comes out. And that means that I have not heard your feedback on what to do for the interior decorating. So instead, what we are going to be doing is working on some of the exterior decorating. Yeah, so we need to do a little bit of work out here. I said we need to get some pillars in place. We need to um, take care of some of this stuff up here. Ooh, jump into a chest there. You notice our walkway doesn't quite go to the ground. Yeah, so we've just got a right mess here, and we need to take care of that. And the first thing that we really need to get done is we need to get rid of these chests. We need to have a more proper storage area. So what I was thinking was going into, let's get into the house real quick. I was thinking of going down in the ground a little bit. Let's go over here to our staircase. And I was thinking of going down here, maybe uh, down below ground level. And you see one of the problems off the bat. Yeah, this staircase goes all the way down almost to bedrock and this is what we have to do. This around and around and around and well, I don't like that so much. So, oh my goodness, this nausea inducing. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to blow out this whole thing all the way down to the mining level and we're going to put in a minecart elevator. Okay, so we'll have the last minecart come out probably right around here, right around this level. And then, what that means is that we can just pop out of the minecart and come to our regular house area. And that's fine because the design on the inside or for the interior does not really have anything for that elevator. So, what we need to do is we're going to be doing the, we're going to be doing that uh, the one you've seen me do it before it's it's pretty simple it's not the woolly vader or anything we're just gonna put some some ladders up and then some mine carts and you just right click and go up and we're also gonna put a little drop shaft into there as well so we're gonna need that and uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get going on that we'll tear out the staircase I'm gonna get that done you've seen me build one of those before so I'm not going to carry you along for that. So let me just drop off here, get that done, and then when we come back, we will get started on the next piece of this project. All right, it's time for a little progress report. You can see that I have refashioned the stairwell a little bit here. I brought up the, this, uh, I don't know, this foundation, window foundation a little bit because I kept running up on the side. It was getting quite annoying. But we're going to do a little bit of a test and hopefully we don't have a major malfunction here. Okay, so yeah, okay, so that worked. That is the drop. That's a bit, uh, bit scary because I could end up hitting one of the things on the way down, but uh, I don't know. We'll see. I, I might end up enclosing that completely, but let's head on up. Oh, that's a lot better. Go there, and there we go. We got our elevator done. Now, what I need to do is, let's go outside here and just get a little lay of the land. And we'll go out to the back. And see, I have to cover in all of this stuff down here as well. Kind of maybe bring in the hill a little bit, bring it up to this level. I'm not quite sure exactly how that's going to end up, but we'll know by the end of this episode. But what we want to do is put the storage room a little bit, and this is this is going to be temporary because Kondrick and I are going to have a joint storage area, but uh, this is just going to be something temporary. So what I'm thinking is we need to get a little bit below, what is this one, 64? and 63 we need to get below level 63 just had to put the f3 screen away and uh yeah so i need to find out which level in the elevator is just below maybe a couple below 63 and then that's where we're going to put the temporary storage so let me do that 
I'll get that dug out and then I will move everything over and then we can begin work on the landscaping. All right, I'll see you once all of this has been moved. Well, I figure it is about time for another progress report, just like our last little cut. You can see that we have been getting some stuff done. First and foremost, all of the chests are now gone. The second thing you might notice is that the road is a little bit different, and we've got dogs. I don't know where these are from. There's no explanation quite yet, but I think that it has something to do with Miss Lapis Lori and Kondrick, and who knows who else was in on grabbing some dogs the other evening during a live stream. But let me just tell you something about this road. You can see that we've got a little bit of progress here where we are, what, one, two, three, four per lane, okay, four wide per lane. And then if we look back here, you can see it goes down to three wide per lane, and we got four wide per lane. This is the main road. This is the secondary road. Kondrick had been working on the sewer system down below, and he discovered that our road was not wide enough. It's a bit disconcerting because I had done my house planning on this width of the road, but we will make do. And so I've been just coming along carrying this road out on both sides, primarily up here so I can get the sidewalk in and kind of plan that. But enough about that. Let's go in and take a look at where all of those chests have gone to. Okay, so we will drop down into the elevator here. Not much has changed here, but if we go down here, oh, that's not going to work. Yeah, that's what I'm afraid of, and that's why I probably need to enclose that. But here's our little storage area. This is temporary storage. We've got some uh, mined stuff over here. So all the stones and all that various stuff here. Ores, and, and you can hear an auto sugarcane thing that I put together just because I wanted some emeralds. You can see the results of that there, and there's our diamonds. There's the goodies right there. Little crafting area back here. You can reach just behind the anvil and the ender chest. And a, uh, what is this, smelting area. And we've got a bunch of crafted blocks and then the natural kind of collected stuff here. And then, oh, this is good. So I think Kondrick has been on, which is why this stuff has been growing. But we've got a little potion brewing area as well. So, so yeah, this is uh, this is temporary. It's not what we're going to be sticking with long term, but it's sufficient for now, and it gets all of the hillside up here cleaned up. Okay, so I still need to move the beds, but that's going to come with the. Actually, it's going to have to come in this project because we need to get rid of it. Who wants a bed sitting on their front lawn? So. The chests are gone, and I've moved back the hill, and I've got dogs staring at me. I've got even one over here. I don't know what that's about, but I shall have to ask somebody. So, anyway, enough about the dogs. What we need to do next is we need to bring this hill up, uh, maybe do the, the large-scale terraforming or uh, landscaping as I might get corrected. So we're going to make it look like this area is on a little bit more solid ground. We're probably also going to be putting in some pylons. We'll put, put pylons on occasion. It's not going to be completely, completely on the ground, but we are going to do pylons. Kind of like you see over there, we're going to do another pylon up here. And we'll probably bring this out a little bit, but that's what I'm going to get going on next. I'm going to fill some of this stuff in. Get some pylons going, and then we'll come back for the finer details after the next break. So I'll see you once we're getting ready to get started on that. And it's time for another quick progress update. You can see I've moved the bed. I think this is going to be one of the positions of the bed. I'm not sure, but we're not doing interiors today. It is time for a little progress update. So let's go over here. And you can see that we've gotten some work done. Okay, so let's go around a little bit. First and foremost, um, if, you, if you've noticed any major changes, you might see some beacon beams right there. Let's get rid of the ender pearl so we don't have an accidental pearl incident. 
So we got the beacon beams, and that is because I just recorded the episode that you saw last week. Yes, yes, this is taking a couple weeks. So Kondrick and I took care of the withers. We got some beacons, and you can see I've got some jump boost going on, amongst other things. So anyway, Kondrick came by. He took care of the rest of the road, and I've just been continuing to work on this. We've got it tied in. Kind of takes over the sidewalk a little bit, but that's fine because this is not meant to be the main sidewalk. But you can see, oh, I've got an endermite hanging out up top, I guess. So, yeah, you can hear him. All right, so first things first, I moved the bed. You can see that. And then I dug this area down, and we've got, you can see I've, I've moved, a, you know, been doing some digging. So I dug that out, and then I have a little, little pond right here. And we'll dress that up. We're getting ready to do foliage, but right now I just want to show you the landscaping. And I filled in under here. You can see that. And then under the house, you notice that it's a little bit cleaner. I've come in with the bottommost portion of the floor. Actually, this is kind of a subfloor, so you're not going to see this from the inside. It's actually going to hide some of the mechanics of the interior design. But uh, but yeah, we're we're all done. And that endermite. I'm going to get him. Well, we'll see if I end up getting him. Uh, the next thing to note here, let's see if I can, yeah, jump boost for the win. All right, so what I've done is I've pushed back this hill, put a little retaining wall on it, and I wrapped it around. So we're going to have a little, kind of a little patio or something right there. And I've wrapped it around this way too. And you can see kondrick has been doing some cleanup as well. So um, I've got the pylons here. You see a little bit of the design motif. We've got the smooth stone slabs, cobble, and then where it splits up more than two, we've got some spruce fences. I'm not too keen on it, I gotta tell you, especially right there, that it seems a little spindly. So we'll see if I change it by the end of this episode. If I don't, some suggestions from you would be great if you have any ideas of how to make that seem less spindly but not take up too much room. Again, we, we want it to, we want this building to kind of sit on top of the landscape. That's the whole point. So uh, we just want it to sit and not be really anchored. So um, this is minor supports, okay? Next thing is this fence. We've got white glass panes and spruce wood. I don't know if I like this connecting right here, but uh, who knows, we, we might change that. Next thing we need to do is go to the back and take a look at this pond. So actually we'll go through here. And the neat thing is that this, this stream actually comes from up top. I've been working on this not, uh, not just today. I've been slowly but surely doing this. We've got two streams coming out of the, of the valley right here. What, I can't remember the saddle. That's the name of the area between two two mountains. So I've been doing that a little bit. So we've got streams from there and there all flowing down into here. And then that meets up with another stream that I've just cut in right here coming off the mountain. And all of that flows into a little stream that goes through my backyard and goes under the house. So that gives a little bit of ambiance when you're inside, you can still hear, oh, got a restart coming up. You can still hear the stream while you're inside. And yeah, I think it's gonna add to a little peaceful, peaceful feel to the whole thing. I filled in the pond that was here and brought this level up some, kind of wrapping the terrain around. I might be doing this on and off throughout the rest of the episode, but I just wanted to bring you in, show you what's going on also uh, show off I've dug down this area a little bit preparing for the patio area as well so anyway next up what we're gonna do is we need to get some foliage going and and also some lighting it's time to get rid of these torches so that's the we're gonna do the final push and get some foliage get some lighting buried in the ground hidden away back and in the water and in various areas so I'm going to take care of the final touches, and then we'll see if we're set. And uh, anyway, that's it for now, and I will see you in just a moment. Uh, sunrise once again, 
And as the sun goes up, let's see. Oh, we're by ourselves right now. Nimson was on earlier, but he had to leave. He might rejoin us here soon, but we've gotten some work done. And what's the, what's that over there? Oh, there's a little pig. See, Nimson joined. Let's uh, not be antisocial. Yeah, okay, we got a little pig. Let's take a look at this pig. Are you Joseph? You are Josephine. Hmm. I will have to tell Voodoo Beard about that. But anyway, let's take a look here. We've gotten the foliage done. See that? Okay, so the general idea here is that we are in a taiga. So I brought back in a spruce tree there and then one over there. And then the bushes that we put in are all spruce leaves. Okay, so no other, no other uh, leaf types because those don't grow in the standard spruce forest. I also went over to a mega taiga. Got some pods all, made up some coarse dirt, and kind of put that around. Excuse me while I turn off this alarm on my phone. Okay. And, uh, yeah, so that means I can grow some mushrooms just out and about here. And we see they're already spreading, which is kind of cool. And I might have to just keep a watch on that. But, uh, yeah, I brought in some flowers as well to give a little color. Did some bone meal on the ground to bring in the grass. Did some too, too tall grass, excuse me, right here and, and all about, dotted about. And the ferns as well, too high, one high. Again, because we are in a taiga. So, so yeah, hopefully you, you are enjoying that so far. We've also got around this pond. In the pond, there's some detail on the floor, and I noticed that I probably should put some, some different stuff here as well, not just down in the pond. I'll come back and do that later. Forgot about that. But I did put reeds around the, the water, and you can see that I'm keeping this one from growing too much over yeah so it's going to stop that string stops that so in case you want to stop sugarcane from growing just put a piece of string on top of it and that trick also works over here with the the uh, vines so we got a piece of string right there and right there and that means it's not going to spread all around you can see i brought in the pods all, all back in here put some light down in the river as well and then we've got light hidden under the bushes and so that means there are no torches around so our lighting is pretty much taken care of. And speaking of lighting, there's one more thing. I need your help on this, actually. So right up here, I put in sea lanterns. I don't really care for them because they kind of break up the overall look that I was going for. I really just wanted this polished andesite as the retaining wall. But I had to put in some sort of a light source to keep this, uh, this staircase from being spawnable. So right this level, this level and this level were all spawnable, so I had to do something. So that's what I put in. It kind of fits with the overall modern, clean feel. And uh, I tried other stuff, but if I was to put um, slabs right here, it would cut off the light, and then this would become spawnable again. And you can't put iron trapdoors on there to, um, because that they won't go on non-solid blocks. So it's a little bit of a, a bummer there. Let's go around. If you got any suggestions, let me know. I'd love to hear them. But we're going around. You can see kind of the side here. I've brought in more pods all around. We'll go to the back. And back here, I've done a little bit of landscaping. Not too much. But uh, because we are going to be doing a patio later. So we're not doing the full landscaping back here. We need to bring this out. Make a little pool or at least a little grilling area outdoors. And that's going to be coming later. It's not next episode, certainly, but uh, it's coming up. Don't you worry. It's probably going to be after the interiors are done. But uh, the other thing is I want to move this, this creek a little bit. You can see it kind of cuts over a little bit. That's probably too, too blocky right there. But I want it to come over this way and then kind of curl back in. And that'll... Uh, That'll follow the contour of the land a little bit better, make it a little more believable. But we do have that, uh, that pond. It's really nice. You can walk through. You can hear the water sounds. And, uh, and yeah, I think that's pretty much it. We've got no spawnable spaces back in there for as far as darkness is concerned. And all the torches are gone. Now, they're not gone from the road. You can see we've got some there. Kondrick and I are still working on that. We did carry out the rest of the road, though, over to 
uh, just past where we are just before it gets to one wolf's place and then we cut it back through that hill and it's going to go over in front of the historical society building so anyway that's it for this episode let me know what you think i'd love to hear your comments leave those down in the comment section below that way actually that's not really down it's just right there on your screen or catch me on twitter at mc soap the great but hopefully you've enjoyed this installment of family friendly gaming once again if i am not comfortable sharing it with my children i'm not going to share it with you so thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next one bye bye